Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2025 Mathematics. Today, I will explain you how you can solve the complex analysis problem with the help of the shortcut tricks. Myself, Dr. Harish Kirk, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the CSR and GATE examination. In this playlist, you can see the complete solution of the GATE 2025 Mathematics such as numerical, linear algebra, partial differentials and the other topics are available. You must watch and subscribe my YouTube channel so that you will get the notifications and the easiest way to crack the exam. Now let's start with the first question. The first question is related to how you can solve the integration of this part and then targets to find the 120i. First of all, you always draw the reason. So x mod x plus mod y is equal to 1. So this is the value minus 1, 1. Fine. Then your target is to find the pole. Can you find the pole? That means cos of z cube is my 1. That means z cube will be my 0, z cube will be my 2 pi, 4 pi and so on. That will give you z is equal to 0. When you take the cube root of this, it is a 1 point something and so on. And 1 point something is lies outside the region. So therefore, z is equal to 0 is my pole. Fine. Now the question arises is what is the order of this pole? How you can find the order of this pole? So around the Z0, we all know around the Z0, what is the value of the sine Z? This is approximately Z. What is the value of the cos Z? This is approximately 1 minus Z square over 2 factorial. So I can change this part to be Z over 1 minus z raised to power 6 over 2 factorial. So that will give you 2 over z raised to power 5. So z raised to power 5 means that is the order of z is equal to 0 is my 5. Fine. Then once you know it's the order 5, how you can find the integration? That will give you 1 over 4 factorial, fourth derivative of the given function. Otherwise, or because it is not an easy target, you can find the fourth derivative of this part. Otherwise, you can write as the coefficient of 1 over z. Is it okay? Now, it is quite easy to write the coefficient of the 1 over z. Now, how you can see that? You can see the denominator part. This is 1 minus z cube. So, I can write as a denominator only for the denominator. Numerator is my sin z. Denominator is my z6 over 2. When it will be the 1 over z? It will be 1 over z only when you can write the sin z in terms of z raised to power 5. Fine. So what is the series expansion of the sin z? This is z minus z cube over 3 factorial plus z5 over 5 factorial. So I can write this sin z as the coefficient of z raised to power 5. Fine. Divided by z6 over 2. So that will give you 2 over 120 into 1 over z. So what is the coefficient of the 1 over z? Which is 1 over 60. So if you substitute 1 over 60 here, answer is my 2 is the correct answer. Fine. This is a one way. Otherwise, you can substitute this complete value plus z power 4 and then apply the binomial series, apply the sign z is z minus z cube over 3 and so on. This is 1 minus z 6 and then apply the binomial series and then get again that. But there is no need. Why there is need to complex the problem? Always try to simplify as easy you can. Fine. So the answer is my 2 is the correct answer. Okay, look at this another one. Uh, which is related to the Mobius transformations and the circle maps to the straight line, the value of this. Remember, if your reaction in the examination of this question is look like say, very difficult, believe me, it is one of the easiest question. Fine. How you can solve this question in a very, very simple manner? But just before that, you must like and comment on this video so that I can understand if you are watching and appreciating my efforts. What is given to you? It's a Mobius transformation. What is the Mobius transformation is AZ plus B over 
cz plus d fine what is given to you t of 0 is my minus of 3 t of half is my infinity t of 1 is my 2 is it okay so now if you look about this case t of half is infinity so definitely the denominator part will be my 2z minus 1 then only it becomes infinity fine t of 0 is equal to minus of 3 so what is that t of 0 it is my b you can see d will be my minus 1 so t of 0 is minus 3 so b will be my 3 fine so can you find the value of the a I can use the third component so that will be z plus 3 over 1 is equal to 2 z will be my minus 1 so that is my Mobius transformation is it okay now once you know the Mobius transformation then read the statement next part so let me firstly here fine now it is given that the t map center radius is my k this is the equation of the circle it map to the straight line fine and the straight line is given as alpha x plus beta y and so on. so can you find the value of the z from this case that's very simple you can consider this is my omega you can cross multiply them and find the value of z this is the one way second method is how you can find the value of the z from this case you can find the value of the z directly it will be my minus dw plus b over cw minus a fine so you can see if you compare them a will be minus 1 b will be 3 c will be 2 d will be minus 1 so if you substitute here w plus 3 cw minus a a will be 1 is it okay so the value of the z is my here so i can substitute the value of z this point z minus 1 if you substitute z minus 1 divided by 2w plus 1 which is equal to k so i can say this is 2 minus w which is equal to k 2w plus 1 i can open this it's a 2 minus w i can it's a 2kw plus k fine now you can move as a scale clear now it is becomes a straight line so you know this is the equation of the circle when it will be the straight line when the coefficient of the w square will be zero then only it becomes a straight line so that when it will be the zero you it will be zero only when 2k will be my one fine otherwise you can open this bracket it is 4 plus w square minus 4w it is 4 a square plus b square plus 2ab so that will be 4 k square of w when it will be the straight line when the coefficient of w square will be cancelled out so that means k must be 1 by 2 fine so now i can clear this so what is your k k will be your ha fine so that value will be cancelled out now you can substitute the rest value 4 minus 4 w k will be half it is 1 over 4 k will be half so it's a 1 over 4 that means omega so 16 minus 1 is 15 over 4 which is equal to 5 w so that will give you w minus 3 over 4 is my 0 fine where w is a complex number you can write in terms of say x plus iota y and so on so w is my real component so clearly say if you compare them alpha will be 1 beta is a y that's a 0 and gamma is my minus 3 by 4 is it okay now once you know alpha beta gamma and k you can substitute in the given equations you your answer will be 2 into k that is a 1 alpha plus beta that is a 1 plus gamma divided by alpha plus beta that is a 1 minus 2 into k that is a 1 into gamma minus minus plus so that will give you 1 over 4 7 by 4 so the answer is 1 over 7 is the right answer of the problem fine
so that's a very simple way because w is the complex plane are there so i can replace by the omega fine so x is basically omega y will be my zero so you will get alpha beta and gamma is my right answer so you can see it's so a very simple your target is to transform the mobis into this straight circle to the straight line i hope you can like and comment on the video as well okay look at this one f is a mapping from u to d fine what is the u u is my imaginary part is greater than 0 that is a y y is my greater than 0 that means upper half so this will give you my upper half fine d is my unit circle fine so can do you know what is the transformation yes it will be e raised to power iota lambda z minus say alpha over z minus alpha bar where alpha is my real numbers and imaginary part of the alpha must be positive fine now what is given to you f of iota is 0 f of iota is 0 that means alpha will be my iota fine and also it satisfied this condition what is the imaginary part of alpha 1 1 is greater than 0 so what is the value of the f of z is e raised to power iota lambda z minus iota over z minus minus plus iota fine now your target is to find the value of the 4 iota 4 iota will be is 3 iota 5 iota 3 over 5 e raised to power iota lambda now your target is to find the absolute value e raised to power iota lambda is 1 so answer is 3 over 5 so supremum is also 3 over 5 is the right answer of the problem look at this another one alpha and beta are the non zero real numbers and q is the polynomial of degree less than equal to 5 so that means this is the polynomial of degree less than equal to 4 if the function satisfies the morera theorem in G c minus 0 oh that's an interesting question first of all let me know whether your reaction to this problem is of do you feel that this question is very difficult believe me i will give you the answer in this simple three lines i will give the answer in a simple three line but before that you must like and comment on this video and you will see your reaction will change from of to the wa fine how you can just think about the what is the concept, what is the definition of the morera theorem that means the integrations of the complex function is a zero that implies f is my analytic fine now it is given that it satisfies morera theorem in the c minus zero that means f is analytic in this c minus zero so your target is to find the integration of the f basically fine so can you find the pole of the f pole of the f is z is equal to zero of order 6 so once you know this is the pole of order 6 can you find the integration value it is 1 over 5 factorial fifth derivative of the numerator alpha is power 6 sin of beta z minus beta is to power 6 e is to power 2 alpha z minus q z fine that is the definition of this now you can see how you can find the answer in the second line so it is a 1 over 20 fine fifth derivative with respect to z so alpha is to power 6 is common what is the value of the fifth derivative is beta is to power 5 cos of beta z or you can check it what is the derivative fifth derivative of the first derivative will be beta times cos second derivative is minus beta square sin third derivative is beta cube cos fourth derivative is minus minus plus sin and the fifth derivative is beta is to power 5 cos of beta minus beta is to power what is the fifth derivative of 2 raised to power alpha raised to power 5 e raised to power 2 alpha z minus what is the fifth derivative of the qz 
k o is a polynomial of degree 4 what is the fifth derivative is 0 so minus minus plus 0 now your target is to find the value of the derivative at the pole pole is my 0 so you can substitute the answer you will see what is the part 1 over 20 cos of 0 is 1 so it is alpha 6 beta 5 minus 32 beta is to power 5 alpha 0 e is to power 0 1 and by using the morera theorem it will be 0 so that will be alpha is equal to 32 times beta fine so once alpha is equal to 32 beta you can substitute here answer is my 8 is the correct answer so you can see that is a very sorry is a beta is to power 6 fine is a beta is to power 6 so alpha is 32 times beta so alpha upon 4 beta will be nothing but 8 is my right answer of the problem so you can see that is a very simple whenever you will see the complex integration for more details i must recommended you you must watch about my this lecture of the complex integration and the residue theorem Uh, you can watch this as a complex complex analysis singularity entire functions complex analysis and so on you must watch about these lectures you will see how you can solve the problem in a very simple manner so i hope you can comment on this video whether you are able to understand all these solutions or not i will upload very soon on the next lecture on the real analysis till then you can share this video with your friends best of luck students Happy life.